Hello, today we're going to be opening a whole bunch of packages. I see other channels on YouTube doing mail videos, so I figured I might as well do one myself. Um, I guess the only difference here is most of these, or pretty much all of these, were things that I bought uh, on eBay mostly, and I think one of them was, was sent in by somebody, but most of these I, you know, bought. Um, if you want to send me something, you could ask, and I'll give you my address, and you can send me stuff, and I'll open it on camera, but... Let's see, I did buy, a, so I bought a bunch of things here because I have a bunch of projects that I need to fix, and so all these are just parts for those. And so let's get to the pile of mail here and get started. Here's a look at all the things we're gonna open. Hopefully I did a good job of blanking out my address, so uh, hopefully no one tries to like stalk me or come here and take my computers or something. No, I'm kidding, I just, uh, didn't want to show my address on camera. If you really want my address and you want to send me something, uh, ask and I will tell you. Um, so yeah, let's get to opening. But before I open, first a nice sip of coffee from Starbucks Coffee. Not sponsored. First is this package, which I got off eBay. I do actually know what this is based on the return address. So let's just open this up. And, have a look. Inside we have a box. And inside that box we have this is a Blu-ray drive for a PlayStation 3. Specifically, this PlayStation 3, which you can see by the label on it, I got for $10 at Goodwill. Um, when I bought this, the person at Goodwill said that the only thing wrong with it was that it needed a Blu-ray drive. And so when I brought it home, I discovered that, yes, that indeed was the problem. The console does work, but when you put a disc in, nothing happens. So I bought another Blu-ray drive, and hopefully I can repair it. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it, because I already have a PS3, but... Might be nice to have another one. So yeah, this should hopefully have a new laser in it, and hopefully should work. Um, one thing with PlayStation 3 drives is you have to use the original board from the drive in the console. So I build up that console, take the old drive out, take the board off it, put the board here, and connect all the wires to the board, and then connect it to the console, and hopefully this will work. Next we have this package, which I'm pretty sure is also from eBay. Actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure everything here, except the one package which was sent to me by somebody off Reddit, is from eBay. And I don't remember what all these packages are, but I think it's fun to just open them and see what they are one by one. So this is something packaged very interestingly. It is up. Oh, Okay, so this is also for the PlayStation 3. This is the ribbon cable that connects the Blu-ray drive to the console. I don't know if I needed this, but I figured might as well get one because I'm not 100% sure if the problem in the PS3 is the drive or this cable. So might as well replace both of them and that will give me a better chance of making sure that it actually works. Next we have this small package. Let's get our scissors and open that one up. And this we have, looks like some RAM. These is two 512 meg sticks of RAM, so one gig of PC100 RAM. And this is for, if I am not mistaken, this, which is, as you can see, an iMac. This, is not, this does not have not much RAM in it, so now it has some more RAM. And by, if I'm not mistaken, I mean I bought a bunch of these parts and I didn't write down like which parts were for what machine, so I'm like, right, I know I bought RAM and I'm pretty sure it was RAM for this machine, so yep, now my iMac should have one gig of RAM. Next, we have this package. 
open it up. And this is, oh, okay, so this is something interesting. When I was at um, Goodwill, I found something interesting, and by Goodwill, I mean savers, and I found this. Now, this is not what it says on the box. This was $5, but actually it wasn't because it was half off, so it was $2.50. And what's actually in this box is a zip drive, a zip 250 drive. And so I figured if I have a zip drive, I might as well get some discs for it. So on eBay, I grabbed a couple of uh, zip 250 discs here. I don't know why, but like I have a zip drive, might as well have some discs for it, and might as well, um, you know, use it. Also, interestingly, another thing I picked up, I picked up this on Craigslist just a while ago. This is a Power Mac T4, and it also has a zip drive in it. And I'm pretty sure it is also a zip 250 drive, so I should be able to use those discs with this and with that. It does say PC slash Mac on it. I don't know if that makes a difference. I don't know if these are pre-formatted or if I have to like format it for a PC or a Mac or if they're interchangeable, so we'll find out. Next up. This is, oh, okay. I know what this is. So, along with the Power Mac G4, it came with the monitor, the Apple monitor. And so this monitor is interesting because it uses a non-standard connector. It uses, sort of looks like a DVI connector, but it's not a DVI connector. It's an ADC, or Apple Display Connector, connector. And so the monitor only has that one cable coming out of it. So along that ADC connector is the power for the monitor. These two USB ports also use that and the DVI signal. So what Apple did was they sold an adapter so you can use that monitor with any DVI source that you want. So this is the official Apple DVI to ADC adapter. So you plug in that ADC, which is not DVI connector to here, and then you plug in power, and then you have just a normal DVI plug and a USB plug to use the USB ports on the back of it. And this did come with the power cable as well. And now finally we have a package from a user on Reddit. This actually came all the way from the UK. So I was talking about how I had a computer that needed a spare part and I was having trouble finding said spare part and he said he had one and he would send it to me. So here it is. I've asked his permission to mention his name or at least his Reddit username. I haven't heard back yet. So when he responds, I will put his name in the video or at least in the video description. So this is an Apple slot loading DVD drive. This is for the iMac G3. So this thing does work, except the CD drive does not. I put this disc in and it ate it. It won't read it and it won't give it back. So I was actually having trouble finding a replacement DVD drive for this machine. Like I found sites that it listed, but they were all like out of stock. I had trouble finding eBay. So I found someone on Reddit who sent me this drive. This may be a little too small to fit in there because it looks like it's from a laptop or actually I think a G4 cube, but it should work in here because the connector is the same. Okay, so the connector on the back is an Atapi CD connector. And in the iMac, there is an adapter that you screw on to here, which adapts it to work with the IDE in there. So. As long as this physically fits in there, which I think it should, then we should be good and I should be able to fix that. 
So with all those parts, I now have ideas for new videos to film. I can fix the PS3, I can update and fix the iMac G4. Um, oh, so the, the monitor with the Power Mac G4, I, um, during transport, I broke the hinge on it. I, uh, I bought a new one, but I haven't got it yet. Uh, a new hinge, not a new monitor. So I'm gonna probably make a video of me opening up that monitor and replacing the hinge. And so yeah, uh, every part you saw in here will probably be featured in a new video on this channel. And uh, so as one other update, I uh, I don't really use this channel to make money or anything. I just make videos here because it's fun. But I figured I'd make a Patreon just you know for the heck of it. So. If you, if you want to support me on Patreon, I guess you can look in the description and click on the link. If you want to do that, go ahead. Not forcing anyone to do it. I will still keep making videos regardless. Just figured I'd do that because it's what other YouTubers do. And if people really want to give me money, I'm not going to turn it down. So, thank you for watching.